Sandra, we met during your making of The Outlaw Josie Wales, and now you're in another Clint Eastwood movie, The Gauntlet. Yeah, what is yeah. The Gauntlet? What kind of a picture is it? Um, it's um, basically, oh, it has so many uh, elements that I keep saying it has a little something for everybody, but it's, it's a detective story, basically. It has a lot of action in it, but it's also a love story which is interesting. It, it's an unusual type of love story because it's more of a love-hate story. We, we're we're uh, two characters who uh, start hating each other <laughs> and end up loving each other. But uh, Clint plays a, detec a detective in this one. It's not the Dirty Harry. It has some of the elements of Dirty Harry. He plays a completely different character than he's ever played before. And uh, I'm a key witness in a trial. He has to get me back safely in order to testify because important people want me dead. And it's, it's sort of an exciting adventure, love story. Does it have the, the violence that has become associated with Clint Eastwood movies of recent years? It has a lot of action. Actually, nobody gets killed. Only one person gets killed in this picture, and that's the, the villain, and I shoot him. So <laughs> Clint's uh, not uh, perpetrating any so-called violence. Was this a conscious thing on Clint's part? Because a lot of critics have really been taking him over the coals about that kind of, of product that he's been turning out. Well, I can see I'm going to have to say this again. I've, uh, I've been asked about this, and I personally don't uh, think that Clint's pictures are violent. I think that he's an easy target because his pictures do have a lot of action, and he always makes that kind, he almost always makes that kind of picture. And so he's, he's the obvious one. Also, he's so popular so he's the obvious target. Uh, there are a lot of pictures that I think uh, are re really violent and the directors don't get attacked for it. I think that we're really getting, going overboard with the violent situation now. It's a scapegoat. I think of bigger than life fantasies then. Uh, Frank Pizzetta, if you're familiar with Frank Pizzetta's art, which has become extremely popular now, is, has the same has the same kind of quality that Ken Fisher's do. I mean, they're bigger than all the sorts of heroics. Uh, uh, um, heroic and nobody's and talking about how violent his art is. You know, it's just, it's a, a crazy it's thing. Just, it's a, a crazy thing. Uh, in fact, Frank Rosetta has done the poster for the gauntlet, which is, I think, a lot of people are going to love. It's, it's really incredible. <laughs> how do you think people are going to react to the character you play, Sandra? <laughs> He's a lot different in this one, too, in the gauntlet. He, there's a lot of humor in his performance. Uh, I'd love to see him do a comedy sometime. His, his timing uh, uh, as, a, as a person uh, is, has a wonderful flow for comedy. And um, shows a lot of he also shows a lot of vulnerability. But he says he's, he's the hero in the end, as all his friends love him to be, so they love that, too. He works with Richard Dreyfuss in the film, and now he's doing a, a romantic comedy, The Goodbye Girl. Mm -hmm. Do you see him in that kind of role, knowing his work when you were with him? Mm -hmm. I can see him in Neil Simon very easily. Very funny. Always the guy with the go. He's that sort of frenetic.
Pratt. 